so sick and tired of these hurricanes, bro. Like, we just got Hurricane Helene. Now we're getting Milton. Like, they took all the waters. See? There is no water. None. That's crazy. Hey, you guys. So, I have paused regular scheduled programming and I am just going to do a mini vlog focusing on getting ready for um, the hurricane. What's the hurricane name? I don't even know. Hurricane Milton, I think it is. Maybe I'm a flirty into the bone. Yeah, it's Milton. I'm a flirty into the bone. Like, <laughs> this is not my first hurricane. I've been dealing with hurricanes all my life. I've never lived anywhere else besides Florida. Um, but this one is supposed to be catastrophic. This one is supposed to be a Category 5. This one is supposed to be very bad. It's supposed to be one of the worst hurricanes we ever had since 2016, I believe. Um, it said. But I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it was 2016. Um, but... I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. And you could tell my life is just so unserious right now. Like, I'm still in vacation mode. Like, I, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to get up, go have fun, get cute. But it's like, no, babes. Snap back to reality because there's a hurricane coming and it might take all of us. <laughs> no, it won't. By the grace of God, it won't. It will not take all of us. Um, but we're we're gonna be fine. Um I am ooh. This lip oil is everything, y'all. Like, look at this. This lip oil is by Juvia Palace. It's the mango flavor because my favorite fruit is mango. I love mango. Love, love, love mango. I love a mango mocktail, a mango daiquiri, a mango just period, mango juice, mango anything. Like, I just love mango. Mangoes is my favorite fruit of all times. Um, you guys are going to see when I got this. It's in one of my vlogs. But like I said, I'm taking um, a mini break. So this mini, um, I'm not taking a mini break. I'm sorry. I'm putting a pause I'm putting a pause in normal scheduled programming and what I'm doing is I'm just doing a mini vlog me getting ready for the hurricane because this is what's happening right now this is real life and yes I went on a vacation that was real life too but right now the main focus is the hurricane and preparing for it so that's what we're about to do we are about to go get ready for the hurricane um, the hurricane is supposed to land Wednesday, early Wednesday, late Tuesday. Um, I'm, I don't know, John. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my neighbors because my neighbors are literally putting things up for the storm. So I'm like looking at them get ready. Um, yeah, so we're about to go ahead and get ready for the storm now. <sighs> Let's go, y'all. I'm so sick and tired of these hurricanes, bro. Like, we just got Hurricane Helene. Now we're getting Milton. Like, come on, man. Like, can we get a break? Y'all, pause. Y'all want to hear my new favorite TikTok sound? Like, I love this sound. Hold on. <laughs> this is my new favorite sound, y'all. I probably... <laughs> no, but in DeClerc, we all fam. What? In DeClerc, we all fam. In the club, we are all family. Are you racist? Do you know them? No. <laughs> Tell me she did not eat, boy. She was like, in the club, we all fam. In the club, we all fam. In the club, we are all family. Are you racist? She snapped. Anyways, first order of business is to get some water. I know that's going to be impossible get some water, but we finna try. We finna go to Winn-Dixie. We probably gonna go to like three different places. I kid you not. Cause one thing about these Floridians, baby, they gonna they gonna take up. They gonna take up the waters, boy. Water, toilet paper. What else they be feeding about, boy? 
it, water, toilet paper. What else, bro? It, the shelves are going to be empty. I promise. I promise. That's that's one thing about Floridians, boy. Don't don't let don't let something happen. Um, I'm Team D at work. So <sighs> ghetto, bro. This is so ghetto. This is my first year as a nurse. This is uh, so much I want to say, but out of respect for like jobs and stuff like that, I don't want to put too much internet, too much of how I feel on the internet about what's going on in my job. I still want to keep it very professional because, like, first of all, you never know who's watching your page. Like, you never know who is watching your page. My manager could be watching my page and I never knew it. You know what I mean? Or a coworker's. One probably don't like me and reporting back. You never know who's watching your page. And then also, you never know what feature future employer is watching your page either. So I try not to say too much about my job on social media and I try to keep it very professional. And then you know, like you're working in the health field. The health field industry is very, very strict about um like what you post online like they don't play that they hipaa they don't baby you will lose your license in 2.5 seconds faster than you got it baby if you think you're about to violate hipaa if you think that you're about to expose something like the healthcare field is it, it, very very sensitive and um i feel like they are subject to choose who and when and what they want to um um, persecute to the fullest extent because I feel like sometimes like there's some con content creators I feel like they get to get away with a lot they post a lot about their job and nothing happens to them and then I'll hear a story about somebody else and I'm like dang you got fired for that I seen this one girl on TikTok and she was da -da -da, you know not that I'm saying I'm I'm wishing that on that person I'm just saying like you know they they, they have the autonomy to like choose pick and choose but anyways that's not what i'm talking about i don't know i be getting lost in the sauce <laughs> poor me but anyways what i was saying is i'm team b so team b meaning like there's team a's and team, team b team a is the people that are going in right now during the storm they're sleeping they're staying in the hospital caring for the patients for the whole entire duration of the storm right Team B is me. I come in after the storm. After the state declares that it is all clear, I go and I relieve Team A. Damn. I relieve Team A and um, I stay there for the duration until they are able to come back. So meaning they could go home, they could sleep, they could they could um, shower, eat, check on their family, their house, their this, their that, and then they could come back. So basically they have like within 48 to 72 hours. I could be there for 48 to 72 hours. They're sometimes even longer depending on how bad, you know, this situation is. So I'm team B, that's my responsibility. And tonight I was supposed to be at work, but um, they was asking who wants to be um, canceled me and that's so unlike me because i don't really ask to be canceled although they staff do be asking um do they do you want to be canceled basically if you're not in florida being canceled is probably like foreign to you because <laughs> i remember this one man who i work with he was like i never heard of being canceled until i came to florida and he's a nurse so and he's been a nurse for umpteen years so and he's from philly but anyways, being canceled, just in case you're not a Florida nurse or you don't do traveling, you're not aware, being canceled mean like they don't, they're low senses and they don't need as much nurse that is scheduled for that day. So if there's seven nurses scheduled for the night and there's low senses, they don't need all seven nurses. They probably need, I don't know, three nurses. They probably need four nurses. Um, and then they ask who wants to be canceled. Um, usually, I I, shh, I don't say nothing. I don't I don't I don't say me because I I like to spend money. I like to go out. I like to like live freely. 
and in order for me to do that unfortunately i have to work them three days i don't have no i have to i have to i don't have no other choice but to work them three days so i shh, when they say who want to be canceled i don't say nothing because i'll be thinking about it i'll be like man it must be nice but unfortunately i have bills and i like to live comfortably and in order for me to live comfortably I have to go to work them three days i'm sorry like missing one day is a is a big like loss for me but anyways i chose today because i have to get ready for the hurricane i literally have nothing y'all like i'm relying on my sister like <laughs> so sad but my grown tail self i'm relying on my sister because my sister's coming over for the hurricane she's staying with me um but i'm relying on my sister like she know what to do <laughs> <laughs> she know what to do she know what to get like you know what i mean so i'm relying on my sister even though i'm grown and i should know what to do and i should be able to like get ready for the hurricane and everything but i don't know what can i say i'm a last child like i'm a last child and i'm literally so spoiled and my sisters my sisters like spoil me like both of my sisters call me are you okay do you have anything do you need anything like i'm spoiled <laughs> i'm spoiled I, I don't know what i would do without my sisters like i it would be a very lost world for me without my sisters so it's like i don't i don't know <laughs> i'm just a girl <laughs> what do you want me to say i'm just a girl <laughs> they took all the waters see there is no water, none. That's crazy. What am I supposed to get? What am I supposed to get for a storm? <laughs> no, she's on a plane right now. <laughs> It's so long. Look, all at Walmart. Yeah, I got this red. And that one's the one that we used to. But it's red. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm trying to stay away from it. $32 like what did I get for $32 the world will never know um so now I'm about to go to the keys the key food store it's like another um grocery store it's um Hispanic owned it's smaller and my sister was telling me like there's more things there and they have discounts because um they trying to get rid of a lot of the frozen stuff so they have discounts there. So I'm about to go there. Um, key food. I want a pumpkin latte cold so bad. I ain't gonna lie. When I went to Chicago, that was the best like Starbucks I ever had. I don't know what they did there. They probably put their foot in that one. But babe, this is so good. Key food. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about when I resume back to 
regular scheduled programming i know the vlog is kind of like all over the place right now keep up with me y'all keep up like please just keep up people are out here fighting for parking spots <laughs> when i can't make this shit up bro. okay y'all i just got out of key food i'm sorry i couldn't vlog because listen there's a lot going on there were so many people in there like i'm hot i'm literally hot like we're literally breathing on the back of each other's necks. The last place I want to go real quick is Aldi's. I want to go to Aldi's just so I can get some kombuchas. Y'all, I cannot. I, I love kombuchas. Like, if y'all come to my house, y'all see how much kombuchas I have in the fridge. Like, I love kombuchas. It's sad, I know. Um, Where is Aldi's from here? Closing soon. I don't know all these. Look, y'all hear them peeping for for parking spots? Okay, y'all. I just pulled up to all these. You see, this is why I love all these. All these is so peaceful. It's so peaceful. It's not chaotic. Nobody's fighting for parking. Nobody's breathing down your neck. Nobody's honking at you. All all these is for the sophisticated. The very demur demurs. The very cutesies. That's who all these is for. The very classies. The very mindfuls. Ah! I just love all these. Anyways, y'all know y'all need a quarter to use their thing. The only reason why... Oh, should I get a basket? They have baskets in there? Dang. I've been here so many times. I, I don't know if they got baskets. It's kind of embarrassing. Do they have baskets? I'm going to use a basket. How if they don't got a basket? Then I'm set back. All I need is some kombuchas. I, I don't need that. Okay. Because if I get a car, then I'm going to I'm gonna want to buy more things. So let's not, let's not encourage my bad habits. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go get kombuchas. They done snatched up all these. Wow. Look at how empty these shelves are. What in the world? They done took everything. Good morning. Welcome to part two, or day two, I should say, of prepping for the hurricane. Yay! Another hurricane. Another hurricane. But, anyways, today we are on the mission of putting up the window shutters. I'm about to go get the tools from my sister um, to put them up. But the window shutters is like hanging right there. I'm going to show you guys when I come back. Um, I don't know. I'm just so tired of these hurricanes. Bro. Like, everybody house around my neighborhood. I would show you guys, but I'm not. <laughs> not going to show you guys my neighborhood. But um. Everybody in my neighborhood already done put their window shutters up. There's only one person, no two, that haven't. No, three. Because I haven't put mine up. My neighbor across the street is literally putting his up as we speak. And then my two other neighbors beside me haven't either. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go put my window shutters up. And then um, I'm going to go get the tools for my sister. And then I'll be back. All right, you guys, the tools is secure. I got the tools. 
now I'm about to go back home and I'm about to put it up. My neighbor is gonna help me put it up, y'all. Um, he's so nice. I love my neighbor. Hey, y'all. So, um, I put up the the window shutters. I didn't record for two reasons. One because I realized that I didn't want to show my neighborhood and if I was to record it was going to show my neighborhood I wasn't comfortable with that and then two it was drizzling although it was light drizzles I still didn't want to risk getting any damages to my camera because this is my only camera and if something happens to this camera I literally like I I, I wouldn't be able to vlog basically so um I just didn't record but the shutters is up the house is extremely dark um I just got an alert on my phone um saying like the zones they want to evacuate because of the um hurricane and it is so scary and as a Floridian like who was like raised in Florida never lived anywhere else my entire life it's just like it's scary and I don't know you guys pray for Florida pray for us because it seemed like we cannot catch a break this hurricane season we just had Hurricane Helene now it's Milton it's just like dang and everybody's like all the the forecast is predicting this to be one of the worst hurricanes that we had in a long time and pray for us y'all keep us in y'all prayers i'm not evacuating i am staying i did everything possible to secure my home um i'm just waiting for my sister to come so i could cut down like there's this tree um on the side of my yard that i feel like it'll be better if i cut it because if it's the wind is as strong as this as it say it's going to be i don't want it to like you know like push up against windows break windows or all right you guys this is another update this is another update it's getting really windy and it's starting to get bad basically this is how bad the winds are going right now Bad. I don't know if you guys can hear how windy it really is, but that yeah, is pretty bad, you guys. Terrible. 